Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a bit of a tutorial on shipping zebra finches. Now, I just started shipping them, so I've not done this um, very often, but I have found um, a really good way to do so. So I thought I would share that with you. Um, excuse, the coo excuse the cooing in the background, I am in my um, ring neck dove aviary area, so it's kind of noisy in here. But anyway, uh, basically what's going on is I've got this carrier, okay, this is our standard uh, carrier, all right. Now with zebra finches, um, I think smaller because they're so little. Now three are gonna go in here and I have built a little house for them. Why would I do that? Well, the reason why is because zebra finches are very uh, well um, uh, well known for, like, like they like to cuddle up um, if they can. If they see a little um, structure, they will snuggle up. So the plan and hope is that they will use this snuggle up together. I will put pine bedding in there and I'll put pine bedding at the bottom. What is the newspaper for? The newspaper is simply an extra lining. It's my extra way of um, hoping, I'm hoping to keep the carrier uh, tidier. Uh, pine bedding will go on top of that. It's just an extra layer. We are shipping during the fall here so it gets cold at night and um, I really don't like anything lower than 30. That is my, um, that's my average temp that I look at um, depending so 30 is really my lowest that I will ship uh, with any one of our birds um, you can see we have aluminum foil right there okay and this is what we do to help redirect, redirect any warmth, body heat, that sort of thing. We are shipping them with at least two warmers, if not three, or using hot hands warmers. Um, they do work really well. They don't get too hot. And I do um, glue them, say, to the side, like right here. And I glue them to the top of the lid, okay? And um, that seems to work really well. On the other side of the lid, I put foil, okay? And... Um, you know, a lot of people might think, oh, foil, that can't be safe for a bird. Well, here's the thing. You've got birds that are in a low light light situation. Uh, the chances of them wanting to yank on the foil is really slim. Now, I wouldn't do this with parrots or parakeets. I don't think that's safe. I've not shipped parakeets yet, so I'm not quite sure what I want to do there. Uh, but with little finchies and um, canaries and uh, dime doves and ring neck doves, they seem to be just fine. They're too busy being distracted by the fact that they're in a box to even care about the foil, so I'm not worried about that. Um, also, you've got these little cups here. Now, this is different from our doves and even the canaries. I don't ship them like this, but I ship uh, the, I've been shipping the finches with the little cups that I've cut in half, okay? It's a simple plastic cup. And then what is the red? The red is so that in low lighting, they can see where they can land on top of them, and on top of the cup, and they can put their feet there. Um, I did put tape to seal the paint because I use paint, a paint marker, and I don't want their feet to say get wet. The hydrogel is gonna be right here. Okay, I use a green hydration gel. I don't want their feet to say get wet from the gel and then they touch the paint and their feet get paint on it. That wouldn't be good. Plus, the tape helps seal any um, edges, sharp edges, so their feet don't get hurt. Okay, um, and like I said, hide, um, there's going to be pine bedding in here, pine bedding in here as well, and um, warmers as well. I told you about the warmers. So, um, you know, we just, you got to think, okay, when you ship birds, how would you like their container, their carrier to be? It's like a mini hotel room. That's the way I see it. Um, it, it can't be just a box. It's got to be something comfortable and nice for them. And so that's why I'm doing it like this. Uh, the gel is basically water polymer um, that you can get. It's meant for plants and, and um, crickets and um, I forget what they call them, feeder roaches or something. But it's, in, it's intended for life, okay? You can use these. I've done it. It's great. I add uh, green... Um, I add green gel food coloring just a drop and I add vitamins sometimes and I put water and it just it, it becomes a gel and it's really really nice really cheap on Amazon can easily find find it um, and also there's birdseed okay so I get two cups for birdseed plenty I'm gonna fill it up near near the top okay near the top here too as well so both is, it's all great they're gonna be doing just fine plus I got the warmers plus you got the foil it's all so nice also really quick I do during the winter time in the fall fall and winter I do seal up some of the ventilation holes because at the end of the day they don't need as many holes as you would think during the winter or the fall especially especially since you know you're really wanting to be draft free as long as they have at least I want to say five holes to breathe out of um they're fine it, the rest of it's really just extra I leave those um unsealed 
um, during the summer, obviously, you want more ventilation then. But during the winter time, it's not, or the fall, it's just not something you really need. Um, they'll be fine. Obviously, you got three here. You got three on this side. You're gonna have some on the sides, and you got a couple on top that I will leave open for them to have um, enough air. Okay, but we want to really seal it and contain it and make it more insulated. All right. Uh, so temp six week are gonna be fine. I think they're gonna be great. Lows of maybe 58. Not so bad. Um, so I'm excited for them to meet their new family, but I thought I'd let you, I thought I'd show you guys that. It was zebra finches. So that's an unusual thing, an unusual bird to ship. I'm um, not the first one to ship them, but I don't know that there's anybody who has ever actually filmed what they do when they put their zebra finches in a box. And I guess hopefully we'll be the first breeders, um, a breeder, should I say, to actually put this online so um, maybe this will help someone if they're wanting to ship some little tiny birds okay all right and it's priority mail express usps okay thanks for listening guys and thanks for watching